Brushed DC motors are internally commutated devices that convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Brushed DC or BDC motors are all composed of four main components, stator, rotor, commutator, and brushes. The stator is the stationary part of the motor that provides a continuous magnetic field either from permanent magnets or electromagnets. The rotor, also known as the armature, is the part of the motor that rotates. The commutator is connected to the brushes. The brushes are connected to the DC power source. Now let's strip this down a bit and look at the most basic form of a DC motor. Here you see a rotor energized by a battery thus creating a polarized electromagnet that is acting against the force of the polarized permanent magnets. When current starts to pass through the rotor, it creates a magnetic force that produces torque, causing the rotor to rotate. Let's look a little more closely at what's happening here. Electricity is being passed to the commutator by the brushes. So each time a 180 degree or half turn occurs, the flow is reversed within the coil because the other half of the commutator is making contact. The direction of rotation is controlled by the flow of the current, so if the battery's polarity is reversed, the rotation changes direction. In this simple motor construction, as the rotor nears perpendicular placement with the stator, the torque nears zero newton meter, which results in an uneven motion. To fix this, more coils are added to the rotor, with more sections added to the commutator, as this will create a more smooth rotation. The more rotor coils and commutators added, the smoother the rotation will be. Larger motors will have electromagnets in place of the permanent magnets in the stator, shown on the simple DC motor. This electromagnetic stator is run off of the same DC source as the rotor coils, hooked up in a series configuration. One thing to note is that as the brushes break continuity with each section of the commutator, it creates a voltage spike in the reverse direction, or reverse polarity, creating electrical noise. These noisy spikes can cause big problems if the voltage source is also connected to sensitive electronics such as MCUs, logic ICs, etc. To resolve this, add a bidirectional TVS for motors that change directions, or a unidirectional for motors that only turn one direction to snub or reduce the generated noise by a large factor. One fun fact about DC motors is that they may be used as a generator. Simply connect an exterior mechanical source to spin the shaft if the stator has permanent magnets, or if the stator has coils, then power must be applied to those. When wire is coiled or looped and spun between permanent magnets, it creates an alternating current, AC power. To change this back to DC power, a rectifying circuit must be added. Now that you've learned all about the functionality of brushed DC motors, take a look at DigiKey's inventory to find one for your project today. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!